Hey guys, so one of the things that I absolutely love doing is comparison videos. I love to see the difference between two different types of gear that are the same, if that makes sense. So a cheaper versus a more expensive piece of gear. And so I don't know if you remember this video that I did. I don't know if you've seen it or, or not, but I did a comparison between the Tiffin variable ND filter and the Gobe variable ND filter just to see if there was much difference. The Tiffin was the more expensive one, the Gobe was the cheaper one. And um, I actually, I did quite like the Gobe, but I think I did prefer the Tiffin in that, in that instance. But I thought I would go ahead and get the KNF concept filter and basically put that head to head with the Tiffin and see how that performed as well. The KNF concept filter is the cheaper one in this um, comparison and the Tiffin is the more expensive one. So I just wanted to put them head to head and see how the KNF concept uh, filter performed against the Tiffin. A couple of things to note, the KNF filter has uh, goes up to nine stops, whereas the Tiffin filter is eight stops. And if you look at the filters, the Tiffin filter is slightly chunkier than the KNF filter, but I mean, that doesn't make much difference. They both feel very well made. So enough of me going on, let's get to the comparison and see what you guys think. So I don't know if you notice it, but the Tiffin definitely casts more of a, a magenta, cool tone to the image, um, whereas the KNF filter actually has more of a warmer tone to it. And also the KNF filter does seem to have more contrast than the Tiffin filter. I did give both le uh, filters a good wipe down just to make sure that there was no smearing so that that didn't have any impact on it. Um, but the KNF filter really did have better contrast in my opinion and um, it was only marginally softer. Like I only noticed that in uh, one or two of the shots, it was very, very marginally softer, but not really noticeable. And I don't think it would be something that would put me off buying the lens, well, keeping the lens if that were um, the case, and also using it over the Tiffin filter. So I think just based on that, I think the KNF for me is my preferred one. I did also do another test where I um, did a full turn of the um, filters so that you could see whether they had that X that some filters tend to have, but neither of them produced that. The KNF filter, if you spin it all the way around, it just goes completely black. Whereas the Tiffin filter, if you spin it all the way around, it just goes darker and then it goes lighter, but it doesn't actually um, go completely black or have an X. So both of them um, in that respect didn't do that. I think the KNF filter also has a little bit more vignetting, but again, I don't think it was really that noticeable um, and also something that can be corrected in post. So yeah, for me, I think the KNF filter is definitely one that I'm gonna keep and I think I will end up using it over the Tiffin. 
Um, but what do you guys think? What is your preferred one? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more comparison videos, then also um, let me know in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I do have a video coming up where I'm going to be putting the A7S II and the A7S III um, head to head in terms of low light because I'm trying to decide whether I want to keep my A7S II or whether I want to get rid of it and get a second A7 III. So that will be coming in another video. But yeah, thanks for checking out this one and um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, so you might be looking at these two random little splotches on the wall. I'm trying to decide what colour to paint my office because I've been in here for a year now, almost a year, and I just, I'm undecided. I'm thinking of doing this wall behind me actually dark, so neither of these two colours are going to work for me, I think. But yeah, that's why there are two splotches on the wall there.